Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Tunde and I'm the person behind the blog Atelier Parva. During the month of April I was filming short clips about making a garment following a vintage pattern. This will be the first video of this kind on this channel. It's not a tutorial but I will share the process of sewing, things that I made or learned and I hope I can share a little bit of my love of sewing with you all. I hope you'll enjoy and let's get started. Today I will share with you the process on making this batterik pattern. It's batterik 2198 in size 12 and I'm gonna make the brunch coat, the version B and hopefully maybe the bloomers. I hope I can make progress on this today. I bought the pattern actually from Etsy from a seller from Canada so the shipping to my country is much much cheaper even though it's overseas but it's cheaper from Canada as it is from the US so I'm really happy that I could grab this one and I'm gonna make it from this flannel fabric it's a pastel color the nice flannel it's very nice it has a very nice feeling um, although it's not the best quality but I had to buy something which is on the cheaper end just because I'm not gonna make any further mock-up out of this so I bought only 1.7 meter of fabric so I will start with the coat and then see if I have enough, enough fabric for the bloomers which I'm not so sure about here are the instructions I read through the instructions I think they are quite clear so and here you can see how the yoke and sleeves are attached and that's actually the branch coat how it will look like so it's it closes with uh, bias tape maybe I could also add some snaps it depends on how it will look like at the end so I think that will be hopefully not too complicated to make I will try now to figure out how to set up my tripod so you actually can see how I transfer the fabric and how I cut it out and of course I will first drink my coffee So good morning, I finished yesterday some sewing on my butterick pyjamas and I will show you the progress. You cannot see much yet, it's actually only the front and back pieces sewn together and I gathered all the portions on the back and front bodies to attach it later onto the yoke. All the edges are finished with this nice floral bias tape, it's a cotton, although I wanted to use a self fabric but I wouldn't have enough to finish the whole piece so I decided to uh, use something completely different and now I will have enough fabric to make the pockets as well so you cannot see much yet because it looks more like a sack right now but I finished also the sleeves they have really nice darts uh, on them and they are soon together and pressed finished with bias tape which I had to use something different because I actually run out of this floral one too but I don't mind it because um, um, this nice satin will be uh, very nice on the skin. So yeah, you use what you have in your stash and this is the other sleeve loosely attached and pinned to the armhole. Whoops, let me show you. So this is the sleeve. Um, it's attached only to the armhole um, and then the rest will be 
the upper part will be attached to the actual yoke pieces and that I have to figure out yet how to do it. I checked the instructions so here is it shown on the instructions that you first attach the armhole and then finish the rest while the yoke has to be sewn together with the back and front pieces and the slit as well. So that will be interesting. I have to figure out how to do that. So far I have a little bit of understanding but let's see how I can do it, do this. What is good actually that this fabric, this flannel fabric is so nice and soft and really it has a very nice ease so I can easily attach the or, or match the notches uh, and it's really nice to work with and see. So I will try to set up now my camera so you can see some actual sewing how I do that but I'm not sure if that will work. Let's try it out. That's what I'm up to now. Wish me luck. At this point the brunch coat was almost finished but my camera decided to stop record my voice properly, hence the voiceover. I was very pleased with the results so far, especially like the back yoke with the gaiters. And the sleeve turned out to be pretty neat too. The pockets were only pinned at the front pieces at this point as I couldn't decide if I liked them or not. And the back view is just so nice. At the end I decided to remove the pockets while the markings were still visible. I didn't washed or pressed it properly yet. And let's take a look at the inside. As showed earlier most of the seams were finished with the bias tape, while the yoke had a facing and was hand sewn onto the front seam allowances. It completely covered all the raw edges. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you like to see more, hit that subscribe button or give me a like. It would really help me out. Or just leave a comment down below. See you next time.